I was uh, born and raised in San Pedro. My family has been here for three generations. Well, San Pedro was a fishing community um, dating back to the 1920s, and uh, it is really has a small town feel. Um, obviously, it's grown and it's changed in many ways, but the uh, the port is the heart of of the you know the economic heart of San Pedro. I mean, there are a lot of uh, a lot of longshoremen um, and uh, and port uh, jobs, and uh, that is really has made San Pedro. Uh, to become known as a, a blue-collar town. You know, it's a great group of people. Um, many of the people that are involved in the group are people that I compete against every day in business, but they're all very um, good people. They care about the community, and uh, they have honorable intentions. Um, there's business people that are involved, and... Um, so it's, a, it's just a group of longtime San Pedro residents that have business ties to the community that want to see improvement over time and, uh, you know, for our kids to enjoy um, and future gen generations. Well, and, you know, people may feel like this is a group of realtors um, and uh, business people that are going to benefit from real estate, um, um, you know, increases in real estate. And, and that's only a byproduct of it. What we're really fighting for is a better quality of life in San Pedro. I want to feel proud about where I live and I've been on the sidelines for a long time with regard to being involved in the community. It's been refreshing to get involved and um, uh, be uh, part of the movement and um, everybody stands to benefit. The more people that are involved, it's not just a small group that's going to get this done. It's going to take the effort of the entire community. And the more people that speak up, the more people that voice their opinion, the more people that get involved, the better off we're all going to be. Well, if you go down to the waterfront as it currently exists, you have about eight miles of um, land right now. And it's not being used productively. If you look at Port Ports of Call, it's dilapidated and uh, many of the shops are boarded up down there. Um, and uh, not, not uh, the commercial land that's down there is not being used productively or efficiently. About four years ago, we had a Navy Ship Week. And during Navy Ship Week, uh, the crews would come into the, um, into the port in the evenings and they were instructed to not spend time in San Pedro, to actually go elsewhere. And they were taxied out of San Pedro to Long Beach. Uh, to go, you know, enjoy their dinners and spend their time, and that just shouldn't be. That's a, a that's a shame that that's happening, and it's happening with the cruise ships as well. And for that to uh, to be going on is just it, it, it's 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 kind of embarrassing to be quite honest. We should have more people staying put, enjoying themselves, feeling safe, and uh, spending their money, um, you know, in in an area that's gorgeous. That was John Papadakis's um, vision for, uh, you know, uh, a grand promenade, water access for the people. Um, you know, I've come to learn the uh, water line is really the, uh, the rights of the citizens. It belongs to the citizens. And we do have a right to have water line access and more commercial attractions uh, for the community. You know, San Pedro uh, should be a larger tourist attraction. Um, we have the, uh, the port and we have Port to Call, as it is known today. Um, and uh, they are continually trying to do new events to bring tourists into, um, into our area. Uh, so it's a, it's a very attractive location for tourists. You have the waterfront, you have the, uh, the Port of Los Angeles um, with the container ships coming in, and you have uh, wonderful beaches and uh, shoreline um, access. So yeah, it's a wonderful place for tourism. Uh, if the Port of LA and the City of Los Angeles can come together and create and redevelop the waterfront and ports of call, we would, what I envision is a prom promenade with waterline access for people to enjoy and uh, witness the cargo ships coming into the uh, port, but also to go for bike rides, to go for walks with their families, uh, to feel proud about you know, where they're at and, and want to stay there and enjoy it. Um, 
you know, increased uh, restaurants, um, uh, better restaurants, um, uh, hotels, uh, retail attractions, uh, maybe a convention center and different activities for people to enjoy. Well, I think all the local businesses would, uh, would benefit. Um, I think it's very important that, you know, the family owned restaurants and businesses that are in San Pedro, they're a big part of the town and they add to the character of, of, of you know, what makes up San Pedro. We don't want to lose that, you know, so um, we, we want those businesses to stay and grow and thrive. You know, what's interesting about uh, the business owners and the, uh, the business climate in San Pedro is that, that most of the people that are, that are there have been there for, been, have been in San Pedro for a long period of time. So when you have people that have um, history and have roots in a town, you know, they have a lot of pride and uh, they, they want things to, um, to be very special. And so that's a, a wonderful thing about San Pedro is that we have people that have been here for multiple generations and they're here hardworking uh, people. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, it's, it's wonderful to have that experience in San Pedro. There's an area on the website um, that uh, features hometown heroes. Um, you may know about the uh, San Pedro Sports Walk. And the San Pedro Sports Walk um, was, is an area in San Pedro where there are um, placards for the different um, athletes that, um, and you know, I believe there are even some celebrity figures that are on the uh, sports walk, but they are people that have grown up in the community and that have, um, have you know, uh, have done special things athletically and in different areas. And uh, these people still are in the area and they have memories of San Pedro and the waterfront, and, or specifically Ports of Call, of when it was a time where people would go to. People would want to spend time down there, and it was a lot cleaner, and there were more businesses. I've seen many people move out of San Pedro and have decided that they don't want to live here anymore because of a lack of change, a lack of progress, and a, uh, a lack of commitment um, from the city of LA and the port to improve the community. Um, that's the main thing, is improving the community and giving us a better quality of life. Mayor Garcetti, we want you to know that we're really counting on you to uphold your promises and to uh, come forward and redevelop this uh, waterfront. Um, the community and area yearns for it. We know that you've got great ties with Councilman Buscaino and uh, uh, a good, re good working relationship with our executive director in the port, but we need to see action. And if you're a citizen in the area and have any interest in seeing improvement, we need you to go to the website, click on the letter that will go directly to the mayor, and it's going to also go to Councilman Joe Buscaino and to uh, Executive Director of the Port, who is Gene Soroka. Um, it's very important, and every voice counts.